the first source you're probably going to configure are the PI data sources, uh, much more common than the relational databases or the web services. So uh, this is uh, this is very simple, or fairly simple. Uh, we go into our ad admin page, choose PI data sources, and we only have a couple of things to configure uh, that we need to configure about this server. First of all, choose new. Now, either using IP address or domain or, or computer name, uh, this is where we specify a computer we're connecting to. Now, actually, right, as soon as you try to save this, that's going to check immediately to see if you can connect. Yeah, and if you don't get this far, if you don't get to the point where you can set the data access timeout or the connection timeout, if you don't get to that point, then you're probably not uh, able to connect to that machine. You can test the connection as well. Now, the, testing the connection is going to uh, really basically test uh, for two different things. Uh, it's going to make sure that um, this is able to connect uh, both as the user that um, RT Web Parts has passed over and also as the uh, the Pi, excuse me, the RT Baseline Services itself uh, requires uh, to be able to connect. Now we'll talk later on when we talk about security, we'll talk about how to set up trusts to allow this connection to happen properly. So there's my server and that's about all there is to configuring this. Now one other thing, one other thing if I do want to set this as my default, I'll just go ahead and choose default save and now that's my default server. Now as I've mentioned before, there are three different types of data sources and each data source has a corresponding data set. Now the, the three types of course are PI data sources, the PI servers, uh, second is relational database, the third is web services. We've just described PI data sources. Let's look at the corresponding data set that goes with PI data sources. These would be PI calculation data sets. Now, these are calculations that are either going to be summary calculations like averages, etc., or expressions. So let's take a look at a uh, calculation data set. This is, um, this is one that would be using a, a summary calculation where we simply have uh, specify what it is we want to see, in this case total, and, uh, and then it simply does the calculation on that interval. So we would do this, let's take a look at this over in the RT Baseline Services Administration. We would do this underneath the data sets, under PI calculation data sets. Now what I'd like to do here is do a one hour total of sinusoid. And to do that, let me go ahead and create a brand new one. I'll call this my sign total. Okay. The data source that we can use for this, that's going to be where we specify the name of the PI server. So this data source is going to be that PI server right there. Now here we have the option to put an expression. And in the expression field, this is where you would put uh, use performance equation syntax. Now sinusoid is simply the name of a pi tag name. I can use that here because I'm going to do a very simple calculation. Um, I'll specify what type of calculation when we choose the get columns here. But I'm just going to do a one hour total of sinusoid. My calculation interval is going to be one hour and I'll have this offset at midnight so we'll get every value on the hour. Now once we um, once we've gotten this or specify that by choosing get columns. This is going to go out and show me what columns are available to me. And here are all, all the different columns that are available to me. Now one interesting column here is this thing called value. It's kind of an odd one. You think, well, why, why just retrieve the value? That's not much of a calculation. Well, if, if you had made this expression something a little more complicated, Oh, something real simple. How about sinusoid divided by CDT 158? Well, uh, in this case, value is going to give me just simply the answer to that calculation. So that's something that you can use within your output to do a simple open-ended calculation, not one of these other aggregations like average or total. So I'll go ahead and choose that. I'll go ahead and save this. Again, this was called uh, my sign total. And in order to make use of this, I need to go out and configure a um, some type of a web part to look at this. The best web part to look at this 
would be a web part called the RT table web part. Now I'm going to go ahead and add an RT table to this. This is my little work area here. And I'll choose to add a web part. And the web part we're going to add is the RT table web part. RT table specializes in uh, the relational database type data, the data set data, calculations, relational database, web service, etc. As you can see, it says there's no data sets selected. So let's go ahead and sel select the data set. And here's a uh, here's the data set search. So instead of retrieving a tag as most other web parts uh, do, this particular uh, web part, the uh, um, this time series web part, it's going to be searching for data sets. So I called mine uh, the uh, my uh, sign total. So let's take a look for that. There it is. I'll go ahead and choose OK. And I probably don't need to update this every every 15 seconds. But let's go back and let's specify, let's go back eight hours for this. And as you can see, what I was able to pick up from that is uh, we picked up the available columns that we had defined in that data set. And so this is where, if I wanted to put the total, this is where I would choose total. That's all I'm really interested in here. And when I'm finished, yeah, whoops, you can barely see it when we're finished. Yeah, here's our list of totals. Now, um, one thing I should have done is added the timestamp to this as well, because right now we're just seeing the totals raw. Now I just jumped forward in time here to show you that this is where I would do that. I would go into this, modify this, choose time, and now we'll have the time and the uh, and the total. So I'll go ahead and apply. And there we go. That's a little more like it. So here's our here's our results. Uh, still, we probably want to do some formatting of this, just so that uh, they're not so spread apart here. But these are the timestamps, and these are the corresponding totalizations for those time periods.